Let's turn now to CBS News medical contributor, Dr. David Agus. Dr. Agus, we know that children are now eligible for this vaccine, ages 5 to 11. How will that change things, and do you think that will impact mask mandates? So parents across the country have a sigh of relief as 28 million children are eligible, and the rollout is going remarkably smooth so far. The hope is that continues and a good percentage of them or all of them are vaccinated. And then over the next several months, children ages six months to uh, five years will be eligible once those trials are done. And once they're vaccinated, the mass mandate should start to fall. And so I do think we are nearing an end to this pandemic. Pfizer says its new COVID-19 pill could actually cut hospitalizations by 90% as well as deaths. How will that change where we are right now? And do you think that that's something that's going to be completely different than the vaccine in terms of its availability? Yeah, I think it's, it is very different. Is that this is supplemental to the vaccine, does not take the place of the vaccine, but both the Merck and the Pfizer pill are remarkable about treating people at home who get breakthrough infections or cannot or do not respond to the vaccine and stop them being hospitalized. So these are game changers. When you look at big picture here, Dr. Agus, you know, flu shots were always recommended. COVID vaccines have been mandated in many places. Do we see a future where we're going to have to continue to get uh, vaccinated for COVID over the next several years? Well, I mean, as you could tell from this interview, I am optimistic at the present time, but the virus can and will change. Delta variant is what brought on the new booster shots now and brought on a new surge in the United States. And what we're hoping is, is that the virus doesn't continue to change and there's not a new variant. If there's a new variant, we will get other boosters going forward. And I cannot predict right now whether that won't ha will happen, but I certainly hope that it doesn't happen in the near term. Dr. Agus, thank you.